Yo people, welcome back to another Premier League game week 31. Uh, yeah, 31 one predictions. Um there are some good games on show this this midweek. Um so yeah, um but first of all, hope you guys are doing well. Um and yeah, hopefully the rest of you guys this week makes our week um weekend is good um as we kick off with the midweek games taking place um today with newcastle taking on everton um sorry this is my head but all over the place but it's fine so yeah newcastle against everton um first game everton lost to bournemouth the game they will feel like they probably should have gotten a point from, and especially with the relegation zone, they will feel like they needed that point just to clear some separation. Um, but luckily for them, uh, for us and Luton both lost. So yeah, um, Newcastle of course early kick off fantastic game. They had four three comeback when Harvey Barnes back from injury and. Deadly as it was before, um. So that's a massive, massive, uh, three points for them. I believe they now one or two points off, uh, Conference League or Europa League. And so, this is a massive game for them and for Everton. Opposite ends of the table, one going for Europe, one trying to stay up. Um. I reckon if of course reverse fixture was like five one four one to Everton, um madness a trip here had a man of the match performance in that game, so to say uh from a Newcastle perspective, um so yeah um this one I reckon uh, Newcastle just escape, um I'm going to go is it two no or two one. Hmm. I'm feeling now I'm going to go, I think they just have so many interests in Newcastle. La Salle's also now out, uh, 2-1, 2-1, I reckon they concede. Um, next game, Forrest against Fulham. Now Forrest, of course, um, are, uh, played all right, I would say, against Palace. I think they will, will feel like that was a chance for them to get a win. Palace at home. Um, Palace ain't been firing lately. They got loads of injuries coming back from uh, the news um, that they got the points deduction first game of the death. Want to prove a point. And there was just not anything there for Forrest, really being honest um so yeah fulham fulham play back on fulham what did fulham play against um uh, fulham fulham played sheffield away got a free for the draw um good fight from from fulham with three one down looked like they're down and out and then moon Mun- yes i think he's how you say it Gets um, a late equaliser um, to make it 3 3. Um, so, yeah, I believe Fulham usually dominate this fixture, and last season it was 3 2 for us. Uh, well, 3 2 Fulham at Forest. Um, yeah, I reckon Fulham sneak away with this one as well. I'm going to go 2 1 again, but this time to the away team. Bournemouth take on Crystal Palace. Now, um, the data, as Todd Bowley would say, and Pochettino and all the owners of Chelsea Football Club, will say that Palace should be winning this game, um, like Chelsea should be in the top four, according to that data. Um, <laughs> it's good. I'm going to use that now every time. <laughs> every time I make a prediction, I'm going to use that, honestly. The funniest thing I've heard. Um, yeah, Bournemouth Palace. Palace do have a good record against Bournemouth. Um, Bournemouth. Um, Bournemouth. I 
Uh, right, Bournemouth also drew this weekend. Is it Bournemouth play? Um, Bournemouth. Is it Bournemouth? Uh, oh, it's, yeah, they played Everton. They got a win. 2-1. Um, hmm. Makes it interesting. I think going to the Delta Palace should win if we go for recent history, but um, yeah, I think Bournemouth win this one comfortably. 2 0. 2 0 into Bournemouth. Um, Burnley take on Wolves, and this is where the data comes in, That This is where the data comes in. So if you look at the air trade record, Wolves have a horrendous record against Burnley. Um, Burnley, of course, got a 2 2 draw against my team, Chelsea. Well, we'll get to my club. We'll get to my club. So, yeah. 2 um, 2. Good result for them. But they won't have uh, Vincent's company again. Maybe they, maybe their assistant manager is better than their the, head manager and Vincent company. Um, Wolves. Yeah, Wolves. Wolves aren't bad. They're not a bad team. Usually they beat Villa, but they play. They didn't play that well against Villa, um, if we're being honest. But I think they dominated for first period. That's 15 odd minutes they dominated Villa, but that just disappeared. And as soon as Villa scored their first, it's almost game over. So, yeah, um, this game, I'm going to go with a shocker. 2 1, Burnley. Because the data says so um, in the words of Mauricio um, Pochettino. Um, next game, West Ham against Spurs. Now, this game is a tricky one um, for Spurs fighting for um, top four. West Ham, Paqueta now being back. Bowen seems like he's on form because of Paqueta now being back. Uh, scored three goals against Newcastle away, which <laughs> saying that they scored three goals um, makes you think. Um, well, that hap- doesn't happen often. Um, you've got oh, um, no, Kevin Phillips. So I think West Ham chances are better now. Uh, yeah, I th- I feel bad for Calvin Phillips. Um, it's it's great. It just shattered since he went to City. Um, yeah. So I, the first result I'd gone with was a two-two draw. Um, but the more I think about it, the more I think about it, the more I think West Ham can get can get a win. And that's usually not a good way to go with thinking too much about a game. Um, yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to switch it up. 2-1 West Ham. 2-1 West Ham. Yeah. So two, two shock results, you could say, in Burnley winning against Wolves and West Ham. Um, yeah, I've only got one away team winning so far. We'll see. I want that record lost. Let's see. Arsenal take on Luton. Yeah, um, now look. Luton, massive injury crisis at them. I think they've got like 13 players, 14 players fit. Um, yeah, around that, Russell Academy led. Um, Arsenal got a new neutral at their head. Um, not the best game. I think they had the better chances than City. They set up defensively. Um, I think also can be happy about the results, but they must still also know that they could have won that game. They should still be a bit angry that they didn't and get the result, but I wouldn't say it's down to Arteta, uh, because, yeah, chances, Odegaard, so many times he could have played in Havertz, um, Trossard, if he just passed that ball to Martinelli, um, 
yeah, and then, um, yeah, I think, I think that's it. I learned from last season's game. You can't go full on blazing against them. So yeah, I'm going to go for uh, three, three one to Arsenal. So the next game um, is Brentford against Brighton. Now. I don't know where the where how this game will go to be honest. Um I think Brentford really played well against United, just couldn't finish their dinner. Um I think the scoreline three one tells you not uh, not the scoreline. The the stats show you thirty one shots. How young only score one goal is it's madness. Um Brighton, Brighton, what did Brighton, Brighton played, not played, Brighton played against someone, um, yeah, I can't remember who played against Brighton, I might have said it before in this video, but yeah, um, can't remember, but I, yeah, they, they won. They won. Uh, no? Brighton. I actually don't know. Um, but let me know in the comments who, um, who, who played Brighton um, this weekend. Because I can't remember. Um, so yeah, Brentford. I think it's a good sign that they, how they played against United. I think they would want to continue it. Brentford, um, and I'm going to back them against Brighton. I'm going to go for two one win. Why can they get that second goal they desperately wanted against United? Um, next game, Manchester City against Aston Villa. Look, Villa, eh, done the job over Wolves. So wouldn't say it was this magnificent performance. Um, Manchester City, um, were. I would say hmm. they just couldn't finish all of the shots that they just couldn't create that many opportunities and have so many shots in general at one shot on target the whole game against Arsenal. So it's a big problem there at City. I think it has to do with the creativity. Midfield wise they're not getting exposed. Um, Cavadio put in a big shift, so there's something else. Maybe Foden playing out wide instead of in the middle, or something like that. Who knows? Um, this game, I don't think it will be the the best game to watch. Um, so if you're watching a game on Wednesday, uh, not Wednesday, what's this game? Yeah, Wednesday is Wednesday. Um, rather watch Brentford against Brighton. I think Brentford Brighton much. Much better game on the eye than Man City Villa. Um, I'm going to go for boring one-one draw in this one. Next game, Manchester. Might as well just give you my prediction. Liverpool uh, take on Sheffield, and that's who Brighton played. They played uh, Liverpool, and two-one Liverpool. What? There we go. Fine got there. Um, in the end, yeah, Liverpool Sheffield, uh, Liverpool. McAllister done really well. McAllister has a blind performance um, against Sheffield, uh, against Brighton, his former club. Yeah, um, done the business. Not the best of performances, decent performance. Probably should have, should have scored a few more goals. Um, Liverpool, but yeah. Um, this game, Sheffield done well to get a free through draw against Fulham. I think they should have won it in the end. I think. I think they will feel like they bottled it. Um, I'm going to go for uh five no one to Liverpool. Um, yeah, why not? Look, Liverpool. We'll see what they do. Chelsea take on the the red type of Manchester. Manchester United come to Stamford Bridge after what was a terrible performance against Brighton. Um, but who scored in that game? Mason Mount. Mason Mount will start in this game. Let's see. Um, I don't know. 
Uh, this game, I'm not confident. We got slapped by them at Old Trafford. Not scoreline wise, just performance wise. Um, yeah, it's not looking good for us on the field. Signs of Palmer getting very frustrated with his team, especially after that Burnley game where they were 10 men, man, jealous, and we still drew that, drew that game. Pathetic. Um, well, both teams have been pathetic this season. I think we've just been more pathetic um, overall. And um, yeah, um, I think, well, I think United just snuck their way to a win in essence where we can't. Um, so yeah, this game, not expecting much. It's been 1 1 draws usually um, at, at, Trump, at Stamford Bridge. Um, I'm going to go for a battering. I'm going to go 1 3 3 1 1 to Manchester United. Um, uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a demolition job on us, really, I do. So yeah, um, but that's all the production, let me know what's yours. And also be up to everyone that uh, subscribe or, and like this video and subscribe to the channel. Do make sure if you haven't already, do it because we're growing rapidly on here. So yeah, be up to people. See you all in a bit. Cheers.